my mother tongue ndio imebaki culture ya kitambo na ndio inaisha sasa hii generation yenye iko saa hii ya watu kutoka age 10 down hawajui mother tongue zao kila mtu anatamani kujua kizungu kizungu tulisarenda ati yetu sasa hii tuna serenda mwaka language yetu there's so much to be said hello the middle class we're talking all the time all the time we have opinions and opinions and opinions educated opinions and educated opinions but the opinions that are being hey kwanza with twitter hello the people who should be passing legislation and should be ensuring that our country is being run in the proper fashion are the same guys who the first suspects when you hear gold has been smuggled from Congo you don't go and look for Jean Claude Batoto you know it's some Kenyan somewhere who's probably one of these 222 guys who we listen to making a circus every day of the week in parliament you know you take taxes from them you have an obligation and that's why we have a right to demand because you take taxes when you offer to do something for me it's business you do it if you cannot do it then don't take our taxes to me, Kenya is a whole, you know, because it's used and used and used. No one loves Kenya. We could just use it, you know. How many states in Africa badly need that kind of revolution? It's practically all of them. All of them. I don't think we have even more than two or three at most stories to tell about good leadership in Africa. So if we all decide to go the revolution way, please tell me what, such, what, what kind of a good time the Western countries are going to be having. In, 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 in this part of, of the world. We're not taking advantage as much as we should of the internet. Um, we're too busy watching who killed Captain Alex and emergency pills. And Friday. <laughs> and big crimes do seem to pay now. We're having some former parastatal chiefs and big people in government being extradited to a foreign country to face charges of corruption and fraud. And that's because over time, it's. We've almost accepted it. Something happens. Ah, you're getting you're getting appointed to a big post. You're gonna become a parastatal head or a director. Please, it's a time to eat. We've developed this mechanism, whereby if something gets really bad, we shield ourselves so that we don't have to see the problem that is in front of us. You do not want to imagine for a second that you're going to get caught up in post-election violence. And so you will build the highest gates, you will put the biggest fence around your gate so that it doesn't have to reach you. We have a few people who have too much, and too many people who have nothing. I think we feel that by tweeting this, we've done our part. And then you like it, yeah, and retweet it. Hey, guy, you're a revolutionary, right there. I'm not proud of Turkana, I'm not proud of Madare, I'm not proud of Kibira, I'm not proud of Huruma. Why? Because there are people who are very poor and no one is doing anything about it. And the worst thing about the whole situation is these people have come to embrace poverty.